The yellowness of the hills was caused by thousands of flowers clustered in thick. Yarek gagged. I wouldn't want to be one of you hill people working the flower fields. My clothes are going to smell rotten by the time we get back to Prague. Too lazy to get offended, Martin leaned back in the cracked leather seat. Many folks enjoy the smell of brassica. It's just one of those things you love or hate, like eating asparagus. Raised with a stink as you were, I'm sure you're used to it. And remember, Martin wagged a finger at him, pretending he had not heard Yarick's last comment. Bohemia needs those flowers. Bet it'll be a good harvest this year. Soon the farmers will be out in the fields to collect the seeds and press them into oil. You can grumble like a goat about the scent, but that brassic is used for all sorts of things. The horse took a turn in the dirt road, and one of the cartwheels dipped into a large hole, jolting the cart. The bundle in the back groaned. Here now, Martin craned his neck to scowl at the dark shape. None of that, you'll give us a bit of quiet. He made an impatient sound at the back of his throat. He took off his hat and fanned the sweat on his face. It's very hot, he said, and sighed. Yeah, Yarek drawled, staring ahead. Good money, though, this trip. Hmm, Yarek flapped the reins. We're almost there, anyway. Should take us about half an hour. What, have you been here before? I thought you never left Prague. How do you know this area? I don't. Yarek shifted in the seat. But the horse does. Martin gave him an odd look. And she told you how long we've got left, did she? Yarek laughed, possibly for the first time during the whole trip. Nah, of course not. I was only joking. But it seemed like a strange sort of joke. Do you know what he did? Yarek said, jerking his chin toward the bundle, whose breathing had gotten louder and ragged. Martin was still looking at Yarek suspiciously. No, didn't ask, and that's the honest truth. Yarek nodded. It's best that way. The order, Martin said, came from the prince himself. This was news to Yarek. Learning this detail made him realize that he had been in a dark mood for the past several hours. Realizing this was like suddenly getting a cramp after sitting too long in one position. And as a matter of fact, Yarek then thought, he did have a cramp in his lower back. You didn't tell me the orders came directly from the prince, he said. You didn't ask. Which was true. Yarek did not ask any questions when Martin, who also took care of the prince's horses, proposed they make a delivery to the village of Okno, with some of the profit going to Yarek, of course. And Yarek did not ask any questions when two castle men servants met him and Martin in the stables, carrying a man who seemed barely conscious and whose face was wrapped in a bloody bandage. Ah, there we are, Martin said, pointing his hand at a nest of buildings. The houses and shops began to distinguish themselves, and the dirt path became the main cobblestone road that ran straight through Okno. The village looked prosperous. There were several stone houses. The wooden ones were in solid condition, often with pretty patterns of different colored strips of wood decorating the window frames, many of which had real glass set into them. Shop signs advertised goods, leather tack for horses, books, carpentry, glassworks, and cloth. Women walked by in full, unstained skirts. Even a passing stray dog seemed rather fat for an independent creature. The road turned into a small square, whose center was marked by a fountain that was well-designed, its water bubbling over three tiers of stone. Martin dug a parchment out of his jerkin pocket and consulted it. Turn left here. Doesn't make any sense, Yarek mused. I am the one with the map, and you should turn left. No, I mean this, he tilted his head toward the back of the cart, doesn't make any sense. What could he have done to deserve that kind of punishment and get sent home instead of being clapped into the nearest jail cell? Dunno, Martin waved his hand airily, chasing away a fly. Maybe he killed someone. Then he would be in prison, or executed, or both. Maybe he killed the prince's favorite dog. Then he would be in prison or executed or both. Martin laughed. All I'm saying is this, Yarek continued. If you want to get rid of a weed, you don't just clip some of its stems and call it a day. <laughs>